Whoa, this thing's ridiculous. Oh my god. Michael cannot handle this car. Oh, that bus. Oh, no. G'day guys, my name is Marty, aka Cryptic Existence, and welcome to episode number 44 of Let's Play Some GTA. I gotta train yo. So, um, what's going on in life right now? Let's have a look. There's not heaps really to do, I suppose. There's some, some strangers and freaks floating about. There's some assassination missions. I think all we need to do is change to be blue. <clears throat> John, chop. That's a big ass pile nope. of shit. Yeah, we need to change to be Michael. Starting to get down the business end of the game. 52 missions of 69 done. Um, that's kind of exciting. I had a look at some of my mates uh, scores before and some of them are absolutely decimating me. So that's kind of disappointing, but Wow, she's gone crazy. Yeah, so some of them are decimating me. Um, <clears throat> will be good to... Whoa. Am I full on health? Yep. It will be good to sort of get near the end of the game. And online, I think, comes up tomorrow. Today, for me, is actually September 29. Hang on. September 29 or September 30? No, September 30. It's a Monday. <clears throat> There's Bugatti I was driving before. That's nice. Sweet. Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to go to Solomon or Leicester? Leicester will probably be... Um, more preparation, so we'll go to him, let's start preparing for the big score. <laughs> Whoa, this thing's ridiculous. Oh my god. Michael cannot handle this car. We need to get it to Franklin, because he'll be able to drive it. Why would you turn there? Oh, that bus. Oh, no. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's a bit of a shame, really. Because I'm probably going to lose my car now. Quite frankly, I don't care that he died. I'm going to lose my car. That was huge. And an epic fail, quite frankly. Uh, this sucks. I had the Bugatti and now I'm going to end up with... What's this? Freaking Jeep Wrangler. What a joke. Sure, don't be a dick. No! Did it bring me closer to the mission at least? Might have. I suppose we have to look at the uh, silver lining, and that is that it brought us closer to our waypoint. Oh, where do we go? Do we go up here? Oh my god, this car's terrible. Oh my god, I just had some um, prawn with like chili and lime 
type dipping type stuff. I tell you what, I love chili and my tongue is on fire still. And it was like half an hour ago. It's absolutely brutal. And I normally go to What's Nando's and get like extra oh, hot and things. I can handle chili. Dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh... Pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, <coughs> Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this <laughs> problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning <coughs> my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So, well, he is. so there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course! I'm a man of my word! Dave, let's go! Hmm. Come on, Lester. Let's Last go. Last thing, really. Good luck, gentlemen. To drive my stupid Jeep. Friggin' ridiculous car. Take which us I to the bureau. Like. Parking garage entrance. It'd be so much more fun. So if you it was got any game. idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds it's, good. Um, rock Here we star. are. Let's wait for Soisha him. Soisha is pretty cool. <laughs> it's gonna be him. That's it? Nope. No. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Come on. Here we go. That's not it. So what do we do? Well, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That mm. might be a way I out. What we're gonna do yeah, inside well, there. a way out is exactly what I need. Something's coming. Nope. This is not the car we're looking for. It's wow. hard to get motivated on a is job really without financial waiting? incentive. You can't put a annoying. price on freedom. Well, that <clears throat> spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. You 
this isn't the car, then I'm frustrated. Ooh, what's this? Uh, another guy. Wow. How long do we wait here? Wow. How frustrating. It's meant to be a game. There she is. You know the drill. Couple of car lengths. So what's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. That's a bit nasty. Let's get back. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's really? work related. Why yeah, well, it even I prefer metal? all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. But let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one in between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms right of now? racial abuse, that was my son in spades. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Budget's good. Come on. Any moment now. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. We're trying to blend in back here, Michael. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He doesn't Haynes? like me doing He'll cooperate. Uh, turnouts. He's taking the next left. Yeah, well done, man. Let's park all the way back here so that we don't look too suspicious. We'll be the random right in the middle of the road. It is slightly frustrating. It'd be even more frustrating if I still had that Bugatti though. I'd really want to be driving fast and I won't be able to. Now, if you didn't notice that, oh, maybe you're gonna notice anything. Hey, this is how I run these gigs. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. A block. I can't believe I failed this before. I got too close to him. The guy says go check him out, so I do. But apparently I spooked him. Hey Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. So where's he gone? Which one's his house, that one? You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The <laughs> guy with your best interests at heart. He'll fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. 
Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. That was relatively straightforward. Successful? Oh yes. yeah. Take now me what? back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information uh -oh. gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Bay, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, uh -huh. we've just taken the wrong contracts. Hey, he's a white car. Franklin. Ah, he's already here. Go to the office. Fine. Hurry up, cripple. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh yeah, I got hey, changed. What's the problem, dog? I dressed him Steve up a bit. Fucking hands. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm <laughs> not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. So I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. All right. <clears throat> oh. That sucks. I really should have got 100%. I got to my stupid... Stupid fail ever on that. Um, so maybe we won't switch to Franklin yet. Because Mark has still got some things going on. He's got, ooh, his house. Let's go to Solomon first. Knock over a couple, hopefully what should be a quick win, I think. Driving past the impound yard. Does that mean my car's in there? Well, rip my boobies off. Rip my boobies off, eh? I've been building. Oh no, I'm sorry, man. That was an accident. That was ridiculous. Would you believe that happened? This car's so slow, man. If I'm on the other side of the road, I should do okay. I could probably outdrive these coppers any day. Yeah. 
This car is so slow, man. Any fast car would do. Big man. We had a deal. Do I still have cops on me? Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real bad asses. Put a beat down on an old man. We don't take that. We have a deal with them. Just about. Please. Get those millennial ass wipes and pleasure. You fuck what? Hey, right, here's an old man who might hit back. Eliminate Rocco. Oh, I thought I was in a dead end. I like the word eliminate because that means I can just use whatever I want. Catch him. Oh, I was scratching my arm. Let's catch him and then throw a sticky bomb on him. You wrinkly ass wipe. I told you to stay away. Too easy. That's on you, dickwad. Sticky bombs are good. I'm only a paraplegic. But you can't feel anything. Ah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me softballs. Rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Fine. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Go back to Solomon's office. I can't believe that was worth nothing. Like, that was no points at all. Like, no mission or anything passed. See, I thought I did well. Oh no. Oh god. That sucks. I barely clipped that car. There's no chance he's jumping that wall. Yeah, it looked shorter from that camera angle, but... Where is he? There we go. Come now, in. what do you want, buddy? Come in! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? 
My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Oh, he's trying to get his wife back. Why must I always do something wrong? Always something. Alright, finally escaped. Nope, still one... One star. Oh, that cop car's coming. That cop car's coming. Damn it, normally Bugatti then. Oh, let's go up to my quiz joint. I've been looking at that Chip Peterson thing. I might have something. What was he looking into? Oh, God. Who the hell was Chip Peterson, anyway? This car's terrible. I don't like it. Uh, why don't get... Ugh. That was weird. Felt like I got stuck. <sighs> now, I wonder if the family is the actual you know, group of people that is going to rob and do everything. You know, Franklin and Tim. Tim? No, it's actually family. Hey, what? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... <laughs> well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so <laughs> fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? Wow. I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? <laughs> I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. Right, 
All right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Great, she's a porn star. Mom said she was at Bean Machines. So you know what guys, so we might just leave it there for a second. Um, if you've hung out for this long, thanks so much for sw uh, sticking by and make sure you're liking and subscribing and all that sort of good stuff because that's all appreciated. So thanks so much and you guys take care. We'll see you tomorrow for episode 40.